YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy Benny coming to you with another vlog, man. Um, you know, trying to stay up in good spirits, bro. Um, you know, today we, you know, got back to it. Well, yesterday we got back from a six store run. Um, some of which y'all kind of seen in the previous vlog. Um, but today I definitely got with safety. Um, safety basically had to review a few things as far as you know minor damage to the truck um over the course of the seven months that i've been driving uh over this time period i was only in two accidents um very 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 minor accidents but um nothing as minor as uh the accident in which was uh, just recently put on my record today. Um, my first accident was, of course, backing into like a regular um, store door. I'm pretty sure you've seen these type of doors on my account where some of these stores have a very small door. If you haven't, I'll try and like put a video right here um, to kind of add some context to the type of door that I'm talking about. But then also, I have what I could kind of probably consider one of my more serious accidents where I was in a uh, very tight shopping plaza. Um, in the back, they had like a very, um, very weird parking area. I backed over a fire hydrant. So fast forward four months from then, um, like I said, this was really in the beginning, um, kind of getting my bumps and bruises out the way to kind of become the best driver I could possibly be on this account. And I come to safety to do some e-trainers, e-learners, and whatnot. And they come out to take a look at my truck. Um, after coming out to look at my truck, they noticed that I had this scrape on the top of my truck. And uh, due to me having that scrape on the top of my truck, they wanted me to do an accident review to kind of ask me some further information as to the context of why that scrape was on the vehicle, um, why the damage wasn't reported. And so that went underway for about two or three weeks. Um, I want to say that they pulled me in for that review, like around the second of the new year. And, um, what ended up happening was, um, Upon, upon review, apparently they pulled me in today to further ask me a couple more questions about the incident um, as far as what happened. And I told them that in order to get, um, in order to actually deliver to the store, it was in an alleyway where, you know, it's a lot of times you'll kind of see that we have tight alleyways that we drive down all the time. But there was a residential, um, residential trees kind of overhanging this little area. And so, um, what happened, what, what generally happened was uh, the branches, of course, uh, going along the side of my driver's side on the vehicle caused this damage right here. And I'm, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's basically a small scrape on the very, very top of the vehicle. You barely notice it unless you're really looking for it. But Warner has decided to terminate your boy, man. They have definitely decided to part ways with me. Um, I kind of, I, you know, I got a video here. I'm about to go ahead and run a clip of, um, the safety specialist kind of let me know that I'm being fired for a tree branch. Essentially. While you're on camera, you're saying that I am being terminated for a third accident, which they're classifying because a tree branch scraped the top of my vehicle. Correct. So after him telling me that it's out of his hands and that, yes, we are letting you go because of a tree branch, um, this is a corporate thing. They have decided that they don't really know what to expect going down the line. Um, it has left me in a position to where I now have to pack up my fully decked out truck and try to find a way home from Chicago back to Detroit. And, um, you know, I have yet to tell my parents about this um, information, but this is the end of 
an error with Warner. Um, you know, I have no idea about, you know, in the future uh, where things kind of stand with this company. I just, it's kind of up in the air as of right now. I do want to appeal this though. Um, I am going to say that, that I feel like this should be appealed. I feel like, you know, as much as I like working for this company, this ain't something that I should just lay down and just take, you feel me? Like, understanding that this is something that comes along with this account. These are things that we always deal with when having to deliver to these stores. There's no way that we're going to keep calling in and keep talking about, oh, this is unsafe delivery. Um, there's no way that I can get back here coming up with excuses after excuses after excuses. Um, I feel as though that would result in termination as well. So I did the best I could. Um, I learned a lot. I learned a lot about backing on this account. So, you know, my takeaway is that in my in my eyes, I'm a much more valuable driver walking away from this situation because of the skills that I've acquired. Um, plenty of other companies out there. Um, there's plenty of other companies out there that are offering, um, you know, the same account. I could do Dollar General. It's a lot of other different accounts I can do. It will take a little bit of time for me to get back on my feet and get back rolling. But, you know, this is just a nature of the beast. Um, learning experience, man. You know, we take the bumps, we take the bruises, and we keep going. But, um, you know, Warner has definitely terminated your boy. You know, your boy got fired today, man. You know, not the best feeling in the world when you kind of looking for another load and looking to get back rolling and... You know, you you already was dealing with hurdle after hurdle in the beginning of the year. Had the light incident, had the blowout incident, and all this. Um, you know, it, it, it for sure, it for sure, you know, kind of puts a, a, a slightly sour taste in my mouth. But fortunately for me, I've been responsible with my finances. Um, you know, I got some, I got, you know, my parents, they support me 100%. They always going to be there for me. But I think my best advice for anybody moving forward that plans to work for Warner on this account, on the Dollar Tree account, um, you know, I can definitely say, man, I'm not going to say best of luck to you because that's kind of like gener too, too overly generally stated and it's not enough context to as far as like, this is a good company, bro. Like, hands down, a fleet manager was great. Everybody out of Joliet, man. Jo the Joliet Terminal, 300 Dollar Tree Lane, Nate, everybody, man. Everybody that was on, everybody that kind of uh, was, you know, just making it smooth, bro. Just making this just feel real smooth, real easy to get into. Um, no, I love I love this company, bro. A lot of people say a lot of negative things about Warner, man, but I have nothing but high praises as far as the experiences I've had so far. Um, this is just one of those things, man, where this is not a family, you know, it's not a family business, man. You know, when you would have make a carrier, you're gonna get fired for stupid stuff sometimes, man. You gonna get let go for dumb stuff because you're just a number, bro. You're just like one small piece of the bigger the bigger pie. So when they're looking at the bottom line and they scratching off, scratching off, scratching off, and they trying to optimize everything, you got to think about it, man. They're gonna they're gonna look at every little thing, and um, you know that's just kind of what happened for me um, at the end of the day, bro. But no, you know, I'm not gonna make this a long video. I got a lot of packing up to do, a lot of cleaning out to do, man. Trying to really get everything cleared out of here for the next driver to have his shot at it. But I just want to thank everybody, man, that has supported me up to this point with the channel. Um, you know, greatly appreciate it, bro. But I'm just throwing this out there, man, because this is a part of my journey. And my journey doesn't stop here, bro. Like, you know, we're going to keep going. Um, shout out to my boy T-Dub. Um, you know, forever. Dub, Dub gang, bro. You already know what it is, man. But we're going to have to find, you know, I'm going to have to find a different way. And that's just what it is, man. Maybe that's just it's the start of the year, you know, and that's maybe just what God has in store for me, bro, that it's a different way. And um, he no longer really wants this for me. So, you know, I'm going to just fall in line with that. Understand that I did my absolute best and stay positive, man. Get to it. You feel me? It's your boy. It's your boy, Benny, man. Signing off into the next one. Appreciate y'all for watching, man. Yeah.